guys, welcome back to another episode. We are basically, we're off the track, we're off the, the main highway now, we're on a track. Uh, we're heading to a little remote Pilbara station on the coast. Um, the first part of the station can be accessed by the public, but the second part is going to be through a few private gates and you sort of can't get there without permission from uh, the station cocky. So uh, hopefully we can share that with everyone, see what it's like, see how beautiful it is there. Um, this is going to be the first time we're going to one of these stations. And then we're going to move on to another station where we've been before, but we came in a new area. So can't wait. We'll get the drone up in a minute. Um, we might actually we get even questions about inside of the van, and we keep saying we're going to do a video to go through the van, but we haven't done it yet. So maybe you can do that, sweetheart. I'll give it a go. <laughs> I'll definitely can go through what we have inside, um, what we use, what we don't use. What yet. we don't use. Um, go through stuff. <laughs> You, you can you can end up taking the kitchen sink when you go camping, but when you really when weight's a big thing, yeah, you know we we're going to go through things that we do use, things we don't use, um, things that we wouldn't normally take on a real big trip, but if we're going just for a couple of weeks and we can spare the weight, then we will take it. Oh yeah, we've got a thermomix with comers for the moment. Well, we did, yeah, we did actually bring the thermomix. Yeah. I was going to wait, but that was mainly for um, cocktails. <laughs> Chorus cocktail hour every night. No, it's my birthday. I feel like I, I deserve it is. Uh, some cocktails this it weekend. Is. This, uh, this couple of weeks is Cora's birthday, so we're going to go out, make sure we are on a beach, an absolute pristine beach for her birthday, and I'm on cocktail duty. We're going to pump the cocktails out. <laughs> um, lucky enough, we can run we can run nearly anything on this on van without a generator, so stay tuned. What do you want to do, bud? Tane wants to tick a barra off his bucket list. So we're still in prime barra weather at the moment up in the Pilbara in WA. So cross our fingers, might be able to get onto a, a couple of cheeky barra. But we'll see how we go. I want to catch a barra. No, oh, the whole family wants the to catch a barra. The whole family needs to catch a barra, baby. Yeah, All right. one person needs to catch a barra for dinner. <laughs> tonight. Oh, I don't know if we're going to do it tonight. No, but. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. And um, yeah, check out this sunset. Well, we're just pulling into camp, just about there. It's a bit rutted out on the way in, I've cut the corner. And now for the first time ever. The ram's pulled up. We're not bogged. Well, okay, we kind of are bogged. <laughs> but uh, I reckon really we should be able to get ourselves out of this reasonably easy. Just basically gonna dig away a little bit of sand that's getting caught up on the van tires. So I've got the maxis underneath. I've just cut this core and it's just starting to get into the bank there. So just dig away a little bit of the um, little bit of that bank. Dig a little bit in front of the front of these front tires, rear tires, and oh, we should be right. So let's see how we go. We're so close. The water is literally right there. And our campsite with it. Next video you guys see, not not this one, but the next one. Hopefully, touch wood. Fingers crossed. We'll have this, we'll have the new canopy on, so we won't be digging for stuff like this. I'll actually have proper canopy, everything's gonna have its place. Touch wood. Oh, it is, let me cut that corner a bit. Up. 
little bit from the front, straighten her out. Now my tires at the moment are about still at 30 in the rear, 28 in the front because we're coming in on some hard corrugation, so they're not super soft. I can go a lot softer, so probably even drop them down now to around the 18 mark. Not muck around. Kyle gets us out of a sticky situation. Let's go see where we want to set up camp. The tide's really out last time we were here. The water was completely covering that sandbar. We call this Bus Creek, as you can see. I assume it's called Bus Creek because of the burnt out bus over there. Look at that sunset though. Hopefully the colours of the sunset's coming through because it's stunning. I'm thinking right there. So I've dropped fronts down at 18, rears down at 20. I'm getting a bit cheeky and leaving the caravan tires where they are. I've just got to clear this corner in a straight shot, so I'm hoping that's going to be enough. See what happens. I won't lose my tan coloured Max Tracks. It's exactly the same colour as the bloody sand. Just going to get up onto the tracks in low. Those tracks, I reckon we'll get that. I shouldn't have backed off. Check out this sunset. Right We're just admiring the sunset. Just admiring the sunset. Isn't that beautiful? We have oh, the I best think. Pilbara sunsets. Those tracks. I might just stay on it this time. Once I'm on the tracks, just give it to it. Shouldn't have backed off. Dad's gonna get this time, what do you reckon? No. <laughs> oh, I do have faith, but I don't think he's gonna get it. Well, let's see. Hey? No! Go for it. Okay. Send it, Dad. Send it, Dad! <laughs> Come on, send it. in here on the footage the ram takes a little bit to choose his gear i don't like that about it but um it's not the end of the world if i uh i run we gotta clean that up clean the training up guys at did 
We've got Jono, Squires, he's um, good with these American trucks. Old Jono, go around and see him, he's in Mandra. He's done all the work to the to the ramp at the moment. The lift, the tyres, uh, he's done the rear locker, um, front bar, winch. He's going to do some other stuff. He's going to do that supercharger for us. So go down and see Jono. And uh, if you've got one of these bloody rams, it needs a bit of a clean up on the tranny. Right, let's get these Mackie. Right, so we're just going to cruise down, uh, chase a few more liveys this morning. I um, just been down there just then, and uh, there's a heap of nice schools of sand water getting down at the flats. There's no wind, so the midges are out and about. So sort of one trade off, you get nice clear water. It's neat tides. There's no tidal movement, um, so clear as, but a few midges around. So um, a few sandies. So anyway, we'll see what happens. How are you going in there, Lady of Leisure? <laughs> Good, it's so peaceful. It's nice without that window, it's all offshore at the moment. That's why it's so mill pond, like look at it flat as, which is gold, because you can see every ripple. So when you've got a school of sand whiting feeding on the surface in real shallow water, you can see it. Any little ripple. So I'm only about oh, a bit less than calf deep, in between calf and ankle deep, I suppose. And it's, uh, it's basically a dead low tide at the moment, um, but it's a neap tide, so it's not as low as it gets. You just sort of want to be cruising these flats. You want to look a good 20, 30 metres out in front of you. You can't see the bottom out that far, but you can see the ripples on the water, and that's what you're looking for. So I don't know if the camera's going to show it, but over just in front of those bits of driftwood out there, snags, the surface is rippling. It's bubbling up and down. Tiny little ripples, there you go, coming out of nowhere. That tells me something's feeding over there. I'm just going to slowly, slowly, steady, steady. You don't want to put too many sort of bow waves on your legs, I suppose. Fish will sense something's coming. There we go. I see my little school of sandies. Throw wasn't the best, but we we'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Enough for some bait. Give your net a nice tug down, get them all into the pockets. If you start lifting it up and they're not in the pockets, you can start losing a couple. Well, we got a net full of bait. What do you say we jump on the boat and go do some fishing? Right, can you run the quad up for me? Yep. Do this. Just gotta pull it in front of the um front of the boat there, mate. Yep. Teach them young, teach them safe. Put good habits into them now, saves them being wallies when they're a bit older. Tain's normally got a, a helmet on every time he gets on that bloody thing, but you're just nannering it up to the bloody caravan. I'll let him off. That's it, reverse him up. Keep going, keep going, a little bit more. A little bit more. Keep going. Keep going. Whoop. Oh, a bit more. Bees, just a bit more. Whoop, that's it, and there
Up you go, young bloke. The mum next. Throw that leg over. <laughs> Do we have to record this part? I don't think there's any go on, get up. way to get into a, a tinny. Show them how good you are at it. <laughs> how good I am to fall on my butt. Oh, nice. Good stride. <laughs> Dad. All right, reverse. A little bit of revs. Too. Right, I've got a bit more water here. Hold on, your knicker state and get back on the. That's it. Ready? I don't have knickers. Uh, isn't that what you wear? I've got just like you. <clears throat> I thought you wore knickers. I'm not a lady. Yeah. Not a lady. Lady? No. <laughs> Right, we're gonna take and size Sandy. Yes, we do. Mm. Go see your lollipop. All right, there you go. There you go, little cod. Ooh. Little coddly. Simo would be proud. First boat. First fish in the boat, eh? Yeah. For today it is, yeah, you're right. These little First buggers. Fish. So sharp on their gill rakes. Oh, you cheeky little silly duffer. <laughs> These cods are the only cods that I've been ah, Gets me every time, eh? <laughs> yeah, um, the grips, the lip grips. Hmm? There we go. Got him. Oh. I didn't get to see the colour of it. Oh, get away from that. Get away from that anchor. Double shark, I think. Is it? Like yeah. yeah, it is too. Cheeky little shovel nose shark. Come on. <laughs> Good eating size, that one. Watch your toes. Stop that nonsense. Looks like what? Smile for everyone. Smile! <laughs> it's nose, it's almost like... These little rays are everywhere out here. I say rays, technically it's a shovel nose shark, but I suppose it's a cross between a ray and a shark. Smiley. Sparking, sparking. Look, you can eat these. They're not too bad. And that's not a bad size, but Mom, I'm Mom. not eating it. Oh, awesome. Things on with something. Right, boy. Oh, it's going to that bloody anchor. Baby. All right, that's it. Just play it, just play it. Be careful who's going in around that anchor. That's it, they didn't come out of the anchor. That's it, walking this way. 
There you go, he's coming out. Oh, big shovel on a shark, mate. Oh, bugger, he's gone round that anchor, mate. He's gone round that anchor a dozen times. Look at him. Bugger. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare. Got it? <laughs> mate, what an absolute nightmare. Oh, steady on. <laughs> I'd, say it's, it? I'd say it's about the same. Oh, that's good. What a mess. No, I reckon it's bigger. Oh, steady on. <laughs> you got to be careful because I've got these spines. A smile. <laughs> these spines at the back here, Titan. Yeah. They hurt when they get you. All right. Um, you got those scissors there, babe? This is a cut him off job. Grab them scissors, bud. See you swallowed your hook, just cut him off just there. No, no, close up, close to his mouth, close to the mouth as you can. Yep, that's it. There's no point in us trying to get that hook out because it's just going to hurt him more. He'll be alright, he'll digest that. Can you give him a kiss on the oh, lips? No. Nah. No. I'm not kissing a thing that looks like that. It it's looks out. ugly. It looks ugly. Absolutely ugly. We're drifting. Where you go, babe? Right. Go on, get it up. There we go, he's just realised it was hooked. Oh no, that anchor. Whoa! Oh, no. So you gotta keep it away from that anchor. So drag it in, drag it in. Oh. You're right, you're right. Go with it. Tain, pull your rope. Pull yours in. Shit. You're right, you're right. Oh, shit, where's it going now? Over here. Oh. Shit, it's done a whole lap of the boat. Yep. Hold it, I'm it's just got hooked. Yeah, you stay down under there, son. Perfect. <laughs> You pass me that. Yeah, yeah totally oh. not squished. Right, where's that going? Start screaming again. Yep. Hold on. That's it, we'll get it. Just make sure you stay when you um, when it starts going around the boat. Get your rod tip nice and high, and that'll go over everything rather than stuck under it. Put your bait just inside here, Titan. There it is. That's a, that's a stingray. Oh. You gotta watch that barb when it comes up to the boat. Yeah, Mr. Steve Irwin. Yeah. See that big barb? It's going to be flicking around everywhere. What do you got, mate? Shark! Shark! That's it. Get him up. Under the boat! Get that rod sit nice and high. Yep. If you don't get able to break your rod. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cute you, in a horrendous way. <laughs> till I get your finger. That would not be very pleasant. <coughs> but don't right. they look a bit cute? No. Small like that in yeah, the hand. Right? In the hand. They look cute. Yeah, there's a black tip. They look cute, but. It's like a punch when they bite you though. Get a bowl? No, thank you. Just go around here. Give me a kiss. No. Kiss it? Skin. Skin. Nah, come on, we'll just do the righty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get yours in, Tate. Yep. And if you could um, just pull that line down, babe. Let's go for the anchor. Let's go for the anchor. 
So, oh, what's going on? Now? Thanks, buddy. Good on you. Funny stingrays. Coming through. They're smartness. <laughs> they came off the bottom. He's <laughs> buried himself in the sand. Oh, you cheeky bugger. There he is. Not what we wanted. They're up here with me. Those scissors handy. Scissors. Turn him off of that knot. Okay. I'll just down as far, far as you can. Beautiful. Oh. Around here. Why are you stingray? Oh, big bust up over here. Are we going to leave this spot now? Yep. Put it off for fighting stingrays and losing gear. No guarantee of anything